At the Tech, we want all students to have access to STEM education and the skills needed to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, or math. And that is why we place a special emphasis on computational thinking. We believe unplugged activities build students' critical thinking skills. We also understand that there are many tools that educators and students can choose from when it comes to creating a computer program. So now we're going to use our computational thinking skills to understand how the continents might have moved over time. That's present day. So then how might the continents move if we went backwards one step, knowing that that's what they look like a little bit earlier? Closer together. We believe that it's important to choose the right tool for the problem that needs to be solved. We also like free programs and tools because it allows youth to have access. We're actually going to use our CT skills to write a program to understand how the shift in the continents happened over time. What are you noticing about how it's working right now? It was a supercontinent called Pangea and you can more or less make out where the modern day continents are. Not everyone will use the same blocks to accomplish a similar task. Why don't you click the drop down and see what the options are? The beauty of designing and prototyping is that learning is happening constantly. What I want you and your partner to do is to try to figure out if there is what we call a bug in the program. Do you see how it says first? And then this one also says first? It's the same thing, you won't like change it. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm trying to put this inside here and that strap. Have you reached the end point? We have to do this two more times. Now while we're watching your program, I want to ask, how did you figure out which one went where in this order of the blocks? We were looking at the paper and we saw like the, like the names of it. Yeah. They, it separates. It, separate, it separates little by little. It's important for students to understand that they are creating a program that will be used by people. So they need to think about who would be affected and who they need to keep in mind when designing. So while you're testing code, something you want to think about is if there's any feedback you want to give or if you're noticing any bugs in the code. I noticed that as I move the time period, it doesn't change. Two of our pieces came unconnected, were not connected, so it's no longer working. Part of the code was already there, so we like we saw, used what we saw there and we kind of repeated it but changed it a little bit each time. So then we could go back and revise and connect the pieces that were missing in order to then work out and come with the outcome we wanted. How is your program going? It's going all right. All right. What's supposed to happen to the continents over time? It's supposed to like just separate from each other, because that's what we saw on the pictures. What CT skills were you using? Remember those four big words we shared earlier? Which of those do you think you were using to figure this out? I think I was definitely using um, decomposition, because I broke this apart to find it. Mm -hmm. And I was also using uh, a little algorithm. Working with the team is like very helpful. They help you come up with ideas and if you're not confident in your ideas, sometimes they'll help you have confidence. 